has a strong constitutional responsibility for securing the integrity of democracy, which is done through protection of fundamental rights and the resolution of the electoral disputes. As per the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, after every five years, the Ugandans are required to go to the polls to democratically elect their leaders, both locally and nationally. Uh, as per our Constitution, this year, this month, this week, we shall be beginning to exercise our mandate of electing our leaders. And the judiciary plays a significant role in the election exercise. And I must state at this point that the judiciary is up to its task. As per the laws of Uganda, the chief magistrates are mandated to, to appoint the parish tribunals, which were required to look into the complaints that would arise from the display of the voters' register. Uh, this was done. You may not have been aware. It was done. And uh, during the exercise of voters' display exercise, uh, these tribunals were in place, duly appointed by the chief magistrates of Uganda. The Constitution of the Republic of Uganda and the other electoral laws envisage that in case there are disputes which arise from the conduct of uh, elections, the aggrieved parties must have a fallback. And uh, in this case, the fallback are the courts. These grievances may be in the form of uh, requiring retiring of the votes which, as per the law, is done by the chief magistrates. The chief magistrates have been trained. They have been, they have been trained and given all the requirements in order to execute this mandate of retiring in case it is there in any constituency. The other grievance that may arise may be dissatisfaction with the outcome of the election process. And this may require someone either to go to the High Court in case of the parliamentary and the local council elections, may require to go to the High Court. And if it is for the presidential, then it has to be the Supreme Court. So the judiciary being aware of the fact that it received so many petitions in the last elections, which were in the High Court and some in the Supreme Court, it has uh, prepared itself in case there are other petitions which we hope are likely to be there. So we are now here to assure all Ugandans that the judiciary of Uganda is prepared to handle all the election disputes that may arise from the forthcoming elections. Uh, the court started by resolving some disputes that arose from uh, the party elections as well as uh, some disputes that arose from the nominations and the decisions had to be taken by the electoral commission. So these decisions have already been made, they have been ongoing and they have been made. And uh, right now, we are now prepared for whatever may come out of the, of the general elections that are beginning this week. We have been able to train all the judicial officers in all this process. This started with the exercise of having a colloquium, which was attended by the all Supreme Court justices who are mandated to handle any presidential election petition that may arise. So the justices were able to interact with each other, to interact with other experts, and compare notes on how this mandate can be executed in case they are presidential election petitions. As I earlier said, the chief magistrates were prepared because they are the ones mandated with handling recounts all over the country. So they have been trained on how they can handle that exercise. The high courts, which are spread all over the country, are mandated with handling all petitions that arise from the parliamentary elections as well as LOC5 
and other elections that may be conducted in the time to come. So all the judges have had the training, they have had interactions with each other, they have interacted with the lawyers, both from the government and from the private practice, especially those who have been or been involved in the management of the election petitions, in order for them to agree on how best they can handle these petitions. The registrars of High Court are mandated with receiving these petitions while they are being filed. So they have also been trained as well on how to manage the registries during this exercise. We now remain with the justices of the Court of Appeal who are soon to be, to be trained and also to interact with each other on how to manage the appeals which normally arise from the High Court petitions. As you all know, these petitions come at a later time and uh, we are still on course to have their symposium, which will be held soon. So this is to assure all Ugandans that the judiciary of Uganda is now prepared to handle all disputes that may arise from the forthcoming elections. And uh, as, a, as a judiciary would like to appeal to all the players in the exercise to respect the rule of law, while rest assured that the courts will there be will there, will there will, will, will be there to handle all the grievances that may arise which will be done in a fair and a timely manner. All election petitions and grievances will be received at the court registries located in the areas where the exercise will be conducted. And I would like to urge people to ensure that they observe the timelines which are set within the law in order to enable us to serve them well. We are in a period of the pandemic and therefore, during the conduct of these petitions, we shall have to observe strictly the standard operational procedures which are in place to avoid the spread of the virus. I would like to wish all the Ugandans the peaceful elections that are forthcoming and uh, to exercise their mandate the way they wish. Thank you very much. Yes. My name is Jack from CBS. Yes. In 2016, you received the thousands and thousands of petitions. Yes. And there is a timeline to handle the petitions. Yes. But we know some of them have not been disposed of. Yes. Today. Yes. What is the problem? If some have not yet disposed of, yes. are you ready to handle? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The Court of Appeal Justices, if I understand well, are also the, some of the justices of the Court of Appeal being the Supreme Court? No, no, the Court of Appeal Justices. Yes. I think that one I can answer straight away is uh, that uh, the Court of Appeal Justices, they only double as the Constitutional Court. They handle both the Court of Appeal and the Constitutional Court. They are separate from the Supreme Court Justices. I, I think I mentioned that. I said the Supreme Court has already had its training. It's actually the one which started. Uh, they had theirs together with lawyers from the government and the, and the private practice so that they compare notes and see how best they can manage. So 
Supreme Court has already had theirs. It is the Court of Appeal, which is on course. Thank you very much. The issue of timelines and how we are prepared to, to execute that. The reason why we have been conducting these trainings that I have talked about was to bring out some of those issues which occurred during the previous petitions. So we have agreed with the people who are going to handle this that we see how to expedite them. We see how to expedite them. They have been equipped with uh, what it takes to ensure that this time around, we make sure that these timelines are met. We, we have the options also of, uh, of looking at uh, the technology. The technology has advanced. The previous time that we have had, you have been seeing people carrying books and books to the courts, but uh, we shall now be requesting that they can the petitions, it can enable someone to go home with a copy and look at what has been filed. And as you review this, you are now t cutting on the timelines that you take to understand to understand the case. So we are alive of the fact that uh, last time there were delays. We are alive of that. And uh, that's why we have come out to hold these trainings that we have had, got to see that we perform and uh, meet the tasks that we are we have ahead of, of ourselves and that's why we are here to assure you that we have made preparations and we are ready to ensure that these petitions are disposed of in a timely manner and we think that we shall do it yes yes Now, for example, the one of, uh, if we talk of the presidential petition, we have one month within which to have disposed the, the petition. When it comes to the parliamentary, we have two months. So within that period, it is expected that a petition is filed and a decision is given. So we, we, have, uh, we, have, uh, we have looked into all that and uh, we feel that we shall be able to, to execute. As for the statistics, uh, at the moment, we have 43 chief magistrates across the country. We have 57 high court judges. We have 16 court of appeal justices. And then we have 11 justices of the Supreme Court. So chief magistrates are 43. We have 57 high court judges. We have 15 justices of the court of appeal. And then we have 11 justices of, of the Supreme Court. And uh, of course, we are aware that for the presidential petitions to take place, the minimum should be seven. But uh, at times, we can have all of them sit on the panel. Yes. 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 Now, the judges that we have are not based at the districts. The judges are based at regional level, what if you may call it. You will have what we call circuits. So you have a circuit like Guru, which has a judge who takes of care of the Achori 
region. All the Achor region is under that circuit. So all the districts are managed by that judge. You have a judge in Lira circuit who is taking care of the Lango districts. Then you go to Arua, you have a circuit. So we, don't, we are not having judges based at the, each and every district. That would have been our wish, but the manpower is not there for every high court to be at every district. But as you note that in Kampara we have other judges who are in other, other divisions, which may not necessarily be managing the petitions. For example, we have judges in the, in the, in the criminal division. We have judges in the family division. So when it comes to the petitions now, all those judges who are in those divisions will be called upon to come and beef up the, the, the manpower for handling these, uh, these petitions. So they will be sent all over the country to go and handle petitions in respective areas. If someone is agree, if someone has not disposed, yes, you can raise it with the principal judge. Then the principal judge can see what to what to do in that case. Yes. Yes, I agree with you. When a case takes long, even if you are the one, you, you lose hope. That's very true. Why are we not advocating for more judges? Yes, we are. We have made our case before the other arms of government, the parliament, and the executive. Uh, we, we initially requested for at least 82 judges. That is what is uh, in our, our structure that is, that is set for appointments. So we have made our case, but uh, it is up to the other arms of government to give us those judges. We cannot, we cannot appoint them ourselves, but uh, it's, we also have to consider the resources that, are, that go in hand, hand in hand with the appointment of those judges. So we are being promised. Hopefully the number is going to increase. We wish it had, it had increased even before these petitions came up. Thank you. Someone had, had asked about something to do with uh, the guest backlog and uh, almost what you are asking has touched on the reasons why the backlog is there. Manpower is very critical. The number of judicial officers being limited. Now, as we turn to the petitions, what about the other cases? Yes, there, it, will be, it will have an effect on the other ordinary cases because we shall be using the same manpower that would be handling the other cases to handle handle the petitions. But the constitution mandates us to put aside all other business for purposes of disposing these petitions. So once the petitions are filed, they take a priority over other cases. So yes, there will be delays of other cases, but we have to bear with it and make sure that we execute this mandate of, of disposing these petitions, which have timelines. So nyagala kuba kuri so mwaka tumukuru ko mwaka a fengesi ge damuzi tagala kukakasa bana Uganda bana fe de chitongo le chiramuzi chete katefu okulaba nti tukola ku kwe mulugunyo kuna wanga kuvude mu byokulonda je twandise petitions and other related disputes Mubiyo kulonda wawamu abantabe mulugunya ku je Twitter tallying or counting of the votes. Mumateka, mwobanga atomatide elufu demu kulonda, mwoyagalaba demu okubara obululu, wale chitwita recount, ogenda mu 
uomo la muzigo baita chief magistrate ba chief magistrate sawa ba bali mu, mu, mu district nyingi o filing ayo application yongo yagalaba demu okubala wo batomati de kubivu demu so abalamuzi abe aba 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 edale lya chief magistrate tubona nge nge sige damu twamaze do kubatega te okubategeka kolaba anti bakola ku chintu choku okudamu okubala obululu abantu we babanga tubamati de kubivu demu bo obululu we babanga buwede nga omuntu tamati de kubivu demu ayinzo kubanga ayagala okulaba anti agenda mu mukoti kulaba anti babu demu a uh, eteka rumukirizo kugenda mu high court bo yoba bo e, e, kubivu demu parliament nebira le bivu demu ebya lc5 chairman so abalamuzi bo nabo twabade twamaze okuba nga tu tubateka teka okulaba anti beteka teka beteka tefu okulaba anti bakola ku misango jona ejina abajivu demu byo kulonda twagalo kubiriza abana yuganda bo nanti mubere bakakamu mugende mulonda abantu bamwe bemwagala a uh, bo batomatite fenga koti twete kateso kulaba anti tuliriza buli chimwe chena aba chivudemu okulaba anti tubawa ensala mu mugudde nyobale nyo Uh, kakati waliwa ebivanga bivude mukulonda oko mukulembeze we gwanga we watawo kwe we wabamu obutamatira a uh, koti eyentiko je tuita supreme court yewe ine kukola ku omusango bwe gutyo a uh, abalamuzi ba aba koti eri ku ntiko famazo kubateka teka bali beteka teko beteka tefo kulaba nti bauliriza chona echi bachivude mukulonda oko mukulembeze we gwanga Ebyo kulonde bila ebyuva mu parliament ne 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 LC5 bigenda mu court enkuru eyegwanga je tuita high court abalamuzi bona aba high court ba twamaze twamaze dokubanga tubateka tiko kulaba nti bali beteka teka beteka tefo kubanga abakola ku misango jona ejina abajivude mu byo kulonda ebya parliamentary wale we buze ebade buze wa wanu nga ebikwata ku obudde emisango jinu ejiva mbyo kulonda jona je bano obudde a fenge nge 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 chitongo le chiramuzi twa 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 tude mtwita mu timeline zizona naba na muzibona ne babanga bara babwe bete kateko kulaba anti ebintu bino bwe baba bituseko tulabe enjeri chije tusobola kubanga tumalize emisango jinu mu budde tukitegera anti Misangwe jawa dewe jema vega, tuwa 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 a uh, sema teka wafe atura guarantee we wawa awe misango ejivudemu byo kulonda emisango emirala tino kujiza kubali tsoke tumalize jinu olwo kuba nti ebera ne timelines ino kubanga tujimara mu budde abantu bagende mu milimo jabwe je ba ino kugenda mu kola nga mu parliament nebera so chitufu kija kukosa ko ku misango emirala na ye Tuja kula wa njerije, tuja achikula munga, nga tumaze jinu, okula wa nti, neli na yetu jitambu za bulunji. Ezo zinu okula wa nti zikuwa woku wanga zoza, bazite kamuda. Na ye misangwe, jetuwa gara kwe mirala, misangwe, jine jikuwa ata kubintu ya vila, nga sija, sija, sija petitions. Ya. Petitions, petitions, this is a zero. Most of the 
Tusubira nti training za fezi etu afunye Okuteka teka wala muziba fe Okulaba nti bau lirize msango jini mubude Tusubira nkuruno Tujako banga tusovolo kujiko lako mubude Ngabu, ngabu etu ekatese Ngabwe njo gede nti emisango jineja ejifa mbiyo kuronda e ina timelines ate tuino kubanga tujiko lako mbude Tuina wala mzabala raba vera nga wakola evi nitu evirala Emisango emirala ngea kulimi no Nga wali mufamile division nga wakola kumisango emirala mu division zezo Tujako wanga tubajayo Uruo kuraba nti tufuna manu pawe mara Okukola kumisango jinu Bona wajako wanga wabavayo nga wabasinde kamu mumisango jinu across the country. So tuja kubanga tubaja yobo na kulaba ntufuna manu pawa. Emara. Tu, tu, okuve, okuve mabega tubade tuogela cha, 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 choyogela kwa changuzi yes we have put in place so many measures to curb that first in English because it has it had not it had not been asked so we have so many different measures we have put in place to curb corruption one we have the what we call the inspectorate of courts inspectorate of courts yekuli uomu ramuzi alikulevo ya Supreme Court. Echitegeza wewa woku ya murugunya kumuramuzi, oteka yo complaint yo, nubaji investigating. Mwebasa anganti omuramuzi, alimu uchamu, nubara wachiche chokora, wale woku musi indika mjudisho service commission, ne chief justice ye kenyini, ainzo kuwa awawo chakora, ngokulira echitongo lechiramuzi. Echintuwe chalala chetuwa gira kocha akura wanti Bowa oina okura lokuwe murugu ya kwa ina Nga tosa wala kule ita wafe Tuina aje tuita judicial service commission Ye teka kwa wala muzi Ate ye, 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 ye wa disciplining So oinzo kuteka yo kwe murugu ya kwa Ne wanga Etunro mkwe murugu ya kwa Ne wawo chekola So We are ready to fight any form of corruption That is that may come up We we don't hope that uh, in these petitions there will be that kind of behavior, and we have not we have not received it before, so we hope it will not be there. And in case it is there, we have cited the offices you can reach up to, including the Chief Justice himself. You can reach up to him. We have the Deputy Chief Justice. We have the Principal Judge. In case the matter concerns the High Court, we have the Chief Registrar. In case the matter concerns the other judicial officers, registrars and magistrates, then we have the inspectorate of courts. And I can give you my number. I can give you my number. In case you cannot make it to those people, please, you can, you can reach up to me and then I can give you a direction on how to reach those offices. 0772-4438. 3-5 So in case anyone is stranded in case anyone wants to be helped please let's reach up to the officials that have, are in place to do that First. Okay right then now I may not have the real statistics but uh, if there are many they may not be for they may not be more than four which are pending. Most of them were disposed as, as, and like I said, they were in hundreds and hundreds. They were disposed and uh, we hope these ones should also be disposed. <laughs>